Hello and welcome to another video tutorial for Vast Light. In this tutorial I will explain some of the painting features in Vast. So first of all I have loaded up Vast and I'm using the Kasturi 11 Neurodata dataset which you can find in the supplementary package. And I zoomed in to MIP level 0 and I'm going to enable paint mode by clicking the little pen icon in the corner. Just say yes in this dialog and as I showed you in the previous video you can just click and drag your mouse or pen to paint something. So first of all you'll notice that our tooltip of the pen is rather large so you will, may want to change the size of this so that you can get more into smaller regions or if you want to paint something that is actually smaller. So to do that, you can use the minus and plus keys on the keyboard. So if you hold down plus, it gets larger. If you hold down minus, it gets smaller. And you can then adjust your pen size like this. Another way of doing this is to use a pen button or mouse keys to change the size. So I mapped the mouse click, the middle mouse click to one of my pen buttons and if I hold down that pen button and then move on the screen up and down I can very quickly change the size of the pen. This is very useful and I'm always using this function to to change the pen size immediately. So for example we're painting with a different color this and then you change the size and fill it like this. There's another way of filling if you want to have this filled automatically. What you can do is you go over to Draw Properties and you enable this function Fill here. So now if you paint and you paint a continuous line around an object, like this for example, as soon as you close it, it will fill it. So as long as you're painting a single stroke and close it, this will fill it, but if you're painting small parts of it like this and don't fill it, don't close it and then you're just painting a little bit like so then it won't find that region and the reason for this is that if you put down the pen and you, you paint to a certain target point and release it again internally Vast will draw up a little square or a rectangle around the area which you're painting and if, if there is any closed region that is empty in that rectangle it will fill it. So in the case I just showed you, maybe we can redo this over here, where you paint until here and you don't close it. Now it, it looked in this region for anything to fill and it couldn't find anything because this is still open. So now I'm closing it up here. Now the region for searching will just be this small region and it won't find that either because it doesn't look down here. So if you want to fill something like like in this case, where you already painted the whole uh, the whole circumference and you want to fill the interior, what you have to do is just draw a single stroke to the maximal extent of your region that you want to fill like this. And then it will draw up a larger region, a larger rectangle, and then find the region that you want it to fill. So I can demonstrate it again over here. So you just draw to the maximal extent and it fills it. Um, <coughs> so sometimes maybe you drew a little bit too far, like over here, and you want to erase. So to go to erase mode, one way is to just hold down the delete key on the keyboard and you'll see that the circle will change from black and white to red and cyan. That means you are in delete mode as long as you hold down the delete key. Now if you're painting, you're actually erasing. Another way of doing this is mapping this delete key to one of your pen buttons, which I did. So one of my pen buttons is changing the size and the other one is deleting. So I can just by holding down the pen button and then drawing on the screen of my Wacom tablet erase very, very quickly. So in this case, if I want to erase this, I just hold down the pen button and I erase and then I paint immediately again if I don't hold it down. So that allows me to work very, very rapidly. So Right now I just chose the colors over here to select which color I want to paint with. There's an easier way to do this, which is just to pick the color rather than to try to find it in your list, especially if you have thousands of colors that gets very impractical. So there is a pick mode. First of all, in the toolbar, you have this 
pick segment mode. So if you switch to that, now anything you click will be selected over here in the segment colors window. And after you selected it, if you go back to pen mode, you can paint with it. <coughs> so however, this going up here and changing in the toolbar is very cumbersome. So there is a key that you can hold down, which is shift. As long as you hold down shift on the keyboard, you are temporarily in pick mode. So now I can pick this color, paint with this, pick this color, paint with this, pick this color, erase this, and so on. So you can work very rapidly without having to worry about where your colors are in the segment colors list. Just remember holding down shift to pick something. Another important key on the keyboard is the control key. As long as you hold down control, you go temporarily to move mode. So instead of going up to the toolbar and switching to move mode manually and then back to paint mode, just hold down control briefly and you can pan around your, uh, your scene. <coughs> Release the control key and you can paint again. 